Welcome back. Business is boundless in Kern County, so we have partnered with Kern Economic Development to bring you a series presented by Richard Chapman, President and CEO of the Kern EDC. Let's check it out. Thanks, Shannon. I'm Richard Chapman, the President and CEO of the Kern Economic Development Corporation, and joining me today with U.S. Borax is Rennie Dillinger, General Manager of California Operations. So tell me more about the company. I know 150 year anniversary, a lot more, the, one of the oldest incorporated businesses in the state. Explain your company and, and uh, the product. Yeah, Richard, we're really proud of our legacy. Like you said, we've been around for about 152 years, started in Death Valley. Um, that's where the 20 Mule team, the iconic brand, came from. It took 20 mules, 20 days to haul the ore from Death Valley down to Mojave and make a round trip. Um, you can still see some of that in Death Valley and go visit Harmony Works, etc. But we started in the location that you see now uh, on Highway 58 in 1927, uh, and we've been there ever since. If you're really interested in the history of the company, stop by our publicly available visitor center. It's got a great, you can see, learn all about the company, learn how we do what we do, see what our products are used in. So I'd welcome the public to come through and you can get on any, uh, you can get on Google or anything else and see what the hours operation are. Wonderful, yeah, I encourage any, all the community members, partners to visit. It's an amazing facility. Um, Borax is really, U.S. Borax is an economic engine for a three county region, including Kern. And I know it's the largest open pit mine in California. Uh, one third of the world's uh, refined bore rates come from uh, this mine. So, uh, you know, explain the types of jobs, STEM and non-STEM related at the facility. Yeah, the company employs just over a thousand people globally, a majority of which are based in California. And to do what we do and send our product all over the world, we really need every profession. So we have skilled and unskilled labor, apprenticeship programs, college degrees from bachelor to PhD in almost every profession. So like I said, a majority are based in California, but globally as well. And nearly anything you can think of exists within our business because of what it takes to do what we do. Right. And I know um, your tagline is very ingenious, essential for life, critical for the future. Uh, we actually have some uh, borax here today. Um, I would not be able to hold this iPad. We're not for Borax, so explain explain the meaning of that a tagline and the relevance in life. Yeah, we really wanted to highlight and bring awareness to how often we all interact with our products and the key things that they're in that we interact with each day. So we sell to a lot of customers and our product goes into, the, like you said, the iPad that you're holding, your iPhone, television, but also fiberglass insulation in your home, fertilizer products, the glass and solar panels. We play a part in so many different industries and the properties are product brings to their end use. You interact with it every day. I saw this morning on top of the washing machine, <laughs> right, 20 mule team. So, yes. Um, and I know, well, right, when you when you see your facility, it's on thousands of acres, but mm -hmm. there's also a proposed industrial park. So explain that future of that park and its relevance in terms of our regional economy. Yeah, we're really excited about that. So we're partnering with Kern County to rezone about 3,000 acres in front of our facility uh, to heavy indu industrial value add management manufacturing use. So we're, we're trying to bring in partners that need transportation from rail to highway transportation, power, et cetera. The type, of, the type of things that we need to run our facility, they also need. And so we want to partner and bring companies there to do um, value add manufacturing. And this will bring good paying, stable jobs to East Kern County, which, uh, which is a key focus for us. We do run a mining facility and we plan on being around for a long time, um, but at some point it will close. And we want to ensure that when that transition occurs, that the, the Eastern Kern County is supported with the same type of skilled labor jobs, college professional jobs that we have. Well, and it's, it, you have power, on-site power. That's a critical economic mm -hmm. development issue. So looking forward to partnering with you on that moving forward. And also, how do we sign up for a tour of the mine? I've been to the 60-story deep mine uh, pit, but uh, how, how would we do that? Um, yeah, the best way is we'll, uh, we'll reach out, just reach out to Kern EDC, okay. we'll get signed up. I think you'll have a link here on yes. the screen for us, and, uh, and we look forward to seeing you at our gates. We do it one time a year, and it is our State of the Business event. Great. Well, I look forward to, uh, I'm going to, uh, if I can come back a second time, um, always learn new things. Uh, but, uh, well, thank you for joining us today, and until next time, and remember, business is truly boundless in Kern County.